Hello, my name is Stephen Rowell. My partners are Peter Moore and Brennan Shea. And this video will be a short strategic analysis of Facebook. Facebook, now known as Meta, is a multi-industry technology company. Facebook began as a social media platform to connect people from around the world, but it has grown into so much more than that. Facebook still exists as the social media platform we all know and love today, but the parent company rebranded to Meta. Meta owns Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Oculus, and more. The terms Facebook and Meta may be used interchangeably throughout this video. Facebook's main strategy and source of revenue is selling digital advertising to marketers. This makes Google its main competitor, but these two tech giants exist in different worlds in a way. Facebook owns social media advertising, while Google owns internet browsing advertising. Digital advertising generated over 97% of Meta's revenue in 2021. Meta receives money from marketers who pay to advertise their brands and businesses on Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. These ads then pop up on millions of users' phones and computers when they visit these social media platforms. The remaining three or so percent of revenue for Meta is generated through their virtual reality products such as Oculus. While this part of the business for Meta is much, much smaller than the digital advertising space, Meta is clearly investing heavily in the VR industry, which is why Facebook rebranded to Meta to begin with. It is Facebook slash Meta's goal to build the Metaverse, a virtual space to socialize, work, play, and more. Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Meta, believes the Metaverse will eventually take over the real world as people would rather spend their time there instead of in real life. Facebook slash Meta is ultimately an advertising agency, but they clearly have other plans in the future. Meta is an online social network service that is part of the company called Meta Platforms. It is more commonly known as Facebook and was founded in 2004 by Harvard University graduates Mark Zuckerberg, Eduardo Sovereign, Dustin Muscovitz, and Chris Hughes. Until recently, Facebook was known as one of the world's largest social networks until TikTok's mass amounts of popularity took root in demographics outside of its target audience. When analyzing the internal environments of Meta, it is impossible to overlook its many acquisitions. Other than its complete ownership of Twitter, Meta acquired Instagram, a photo and video sharing app in 2012 for $1 billion. In 2014, the tech powerhouse acquired WhatsApp for $19 billion and Oculus VR for $2 billion. Due to the company's predator-like ambitions, the conglomerate remains in the limelight for suspicions of an attempt to monopolize the social network industry. Externally, controversy is not only the only is not the only attribute that Meta is known for. Facebook alone has a strong brand name. It is the foundation for which Meta is building its empire. Facebook brings in an average of 2.9 billion users each month and 1.9 billion users every day. In comparison, according to data collected in January 2021, Twitter has 69.3 million active users and Instagram, as of January 2022, brings in 115 million users in the U.S. alone. The number is speculated to exceed 127 million users by 2023. Being that Meta remains at the forefront of daily American news as of late, their name has been mentioned often in mainstream media. Elon Musk, owner of Tesla, has recently offered to purchase Twitter and reform the app to reach its full potential. He offered the board $52 and $54 and 20 cents a share amounting to over around $43 billion that he has promised to pay in cash. Musk is not the only tech competitor that sees an Achilles heel within the meta mansion of social networking. Many household tech companies seek to secure a larger piece of the pie that meta has been hoarding for almost a decade. It is easy to identify Snapchat and TikTok as Meta's most aggressive competitors in the social networking industry, but companies such as Apple and Microsoft seek to implement features in their own products in order to keep their names relevant. Microsoft offers unique angles on a potential metaverse with the firm providing the operating system for 73% of computer users and being a major player in the video game industry. Apple, on the other hand, offers the single best ecosystem for its users. Applications like iMessage are creating metaverse-like experiences with add-ons that enhance group communication experiences among its users. Sony, also known for its PlayStation, has already trailblazed uh, VR experiences for most gamers and users as well. All right, so when conducting financial analysis on uh, Facebook or Meta, 
There are some unique financials ever since they've been developing these virtual reality headsets and software. When looking at operating income, it is broken into two sections, family of apps and reality labs. The line item family of apps are the apps that Meta owns, which is Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram. Uh, reality Labs is the virtual reality development side of Meta. So ad revenue in 2021 was 97%. So that family of apps created 97% of their revenue in 2021. And the other three um, was due to uh, Oculus, the reality labs revenue. That was the other 3%. Um, looking at operating income of family of apps, it increased from 39.2 billion in 2020 to 56.9 billion in 2021 and on the other hand reality labs operating income decreased from negative 6.6 billion to negative uh 10.1 billion uh by doing more research i concluded that reality labs operating income decreased due to research and development expense rising 18.4 billion in 2020 to 24.6 billion in 2021 this expense is rising because Meta increased the number of employees that they had by 30% and Reality Lab technology development costs increased as well because they're doing the uh, Metaverse virtual reality thing. Um, so as they continue the Metaverse, it's expected that this uh, research and development expense will keep rising and their operating income will keep falling. Um, however, they have such a large revenue source 97 percent coming from their ads and all of their social media apps that it really won't matter um so then moving on to strategic concerns so a few strategic strategic concerns with this is that they're pouring so much money into this metaverse and it's brand new so it's very risky and they do not know the outcome of it another thing is that Oculus is not the only virtual reality headset out there, so there's no telling, you know, what other people, like, is Metaverse really going to be for all headsets? Like, Google's doing their own thing with the HoloLens. So, a little uncertainty is, do you have to have an Oculus device to be in the Metaverse, and how many people will that turn off of this whole entire project? Um, so, that's really the major... Uh, concerns as far as the family of apps you know they can't go wrong with that because they are doing uh, digital advertising okay so like that's almost an endless source of revenue because businesses and companies are always wanting to be advertised and when they have this such large platform such as whatsapp uh, facebook and instagram they can advertise all they want people are still going to use it so um, it, it's a slight concern because if it does come any, if revenue from the Oculus stuff becomes any larger than it is, they're pouring so much money into it that it's just a money pit. So that is the main uh, strategic concern of what they're doing right now. It is tough to make recommendations for a business that's as large and successful as Facebook. But if I ever got the chance to talk to Mark Zuckerberg, this is what I would tell him. First, I would tell him to keep up with the social media trends and introduce new features to Facebook and Instagram that reflect these trends. I think TikTok's a great example of this. Uh, TikTok blew up and became one of the most popular social media platforms in record time. And to combat that, Instagram introduced Reels, which is basically just TikTok on Instagram. And this was a great move by Facebook, Instagram, Meta uh, to, to compete with TikTok. And so this is something that Meta needs to keep up they need to continue looking at what's popular among social media platforms and then introduce those things to Facebook and Instagram. The second recommendation I would have for Facebook slash Meta is to stay focused on what works. Um, Metaverse is really cool and intriguing, but we don't know too much about it. It could be potentially a dead end. Uh, the idea that life may become more popular in VR than in real life is I think it's very possible, but at the same time, we don't know. And so I think Facebook should stay focused on what works and their strong brand identity, which ultimately their business is a marketing agency. They provide digital advertising space to marketers, and this is something Facebook should focus on. Obviously, branching out and offering other products is completely acceptable, especially for 
a business as large and successful as Facebook, but they need to make sure they don't lose focus on what works, which like I said, is digital advertising. This is where they make the majority of their money and they should continue to stay focused on this and build that brand. My last recommendation for Facebook is to continue growing the business via acquisitions. Uh, one of the main ways Facebook has grown throughout the years is simply buying other companies. This is clear when they bought Instagram, uh, when they bought WhatsApp, they bought Oculus. Um, they should continue to do this. Similar to staying on what works and focusing on works, that clearly works. It has helped Facebook grow immensely, and I would suggest continuing to do that. Look at other social media platforms, other apps, other brands that are that are growing in their industry, and I would recommend potentially buying them out to help Facebook grow in the end. And that concludes this short strategic analysis of Facebook. Thank you for watching.